Antelope Audio is a natural choice for us because we just we have a great relationship and we found it would probably a product be a product that was as meticulous as we are when we hand build these. They have a specific sound for a reason. Uh, Antelope, we feel, would do the job and get our sound as best as we could get it. I've used Antelope since the first Orion 32s came out. Not only do I use the Orion 32, I also have a 10 m Once again, like us, a natural marriage, Antelope's gone to the extreme of, of making sure both their clocking and their converters really meet a high standard. Just like we're doing at BAE, we want our mic pre's and EQ's to meet that same kind of standard. So I think it's a natural marriage. Igor is a meticulous individual. I know the product, so I also know his passion. And I knew how he would attack this situation. While at Music Mess in Germany, it was important, we went back and forth, we discussed each knob, we discussed what it would sound like. He told me what he was modeling already, what he wanted to, it to sound like, what his passion was. And as Mark and I stood there, we just basically were in agreement right from the beginning. So it was easy to bring BAE to Antelope Audio and say, hey, yes, let's finally allow someone to model our gear. We have the right person. What I actually did was I put a signal through two BAE 1073s in my desk, and I put a signal through the Orion studio modeling with the 1073 EQ. Honestly, I expected there to be kind of a difference that I could criticize, make some notes, send them to Igor, what have you. I was kind of shocked at how close it came right out of the gate. And I use these EQs every day, and I've used similar products as far as plugins are concerned regarding these types of EQs, and I've never felt like it was worth using one on a mix or it was worth using one to correct a track. I'm really impressed with what I heard with the antelope. Very precise. And now we went through it. I went through personally each knob, each frequency, just to make sure, is it doing the same thing? You know, this is, this is where I think plugins have really not come up to par where they need to be, especially in the highs and the lows. When you start to move the knobs and you start to really push them and see what they're gonna do, you just end up with sounds that our units don't make. So, again, they're tools, but they're not tools to do what I do here every day and listening to them. I mean, my only reference is the fact I listen to 16, well, actually 25 channels daily. I'm listening to these EQs. And with the, my eyes closed, I know what they sound like. The lows were surprisingly accurate. Um, this is usually where there's a lot of rumbling. There's just a lot of inaccuracy. Um, the calibration can be an issue too, where that knob sits on a real unit versus on a plug-in. Uh, these were all very close. The mids, another area, I mean, when these types of EQs were designed, the different frequencies that were chosen were chosen for a reason. And again, tough to model those actual Kernhill inductors. They have a very specific sound to them. And immediately when I started to hear the mids, I was impressed because Wow, you know, they really kind of had that same vibe right out of the box. I was, again, expecting to make some notes. The closeness is, is uncanny. And then the crispness of the highs was impressive as well. When I push 10K all the way up versus just pushing it up, say, 25%, uh, they modeled nicely with the original unit. Rather than a phone call to Igor um, with a long list of notes, I think I'm just going to post them an email and say congrats and give a few short comments. And I think in the future, especially with our 10 DCF compressors and some of our other gear, we're gonna certainly trust Antelope to model those as well. I might be with BAE, but when it comes to Antelope, I've personally approved this message. <laughs>